This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio and those are my toothy tools. I'm going to put them down over here and keep them handy. I have a painting that I came as close to scraping as I've ever scraped, as I've ever come to anything. And um, there's some actually things I don't hate about it now that I've tried to edit it. But uh, I don't love it. So it's going to go away. And I think I'm going to use my Mead and Black, my Chantilly Lace, and some true silver and I'm going to try and put geometric shapes over the top of it maybe with some circles also I want some organic feeling places and I'm not sure about the Chantilly lace because I haven't done this before and um, <laughs> and I'm nothing and I, I don't have a clue but I figure if I start small, this is the true silver. Both of these are prism pores. And it, I'd probably be best off circling things I actually like. And I actually like that color right there. And I don't know if that's even going to stay, so it doesn't matter. But I am going to use my Mead and Black. And I will also use a Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula. I'm going to start with places that I don't love, but I have to have something bright to go underneath things. So I'm going to try this, grab one of my spatulas. Now it's important how much paint I put down, because if I put down too much paint, then I can't scrape through it and leave a nice trail. And if I don't put enough down, then you're going to see right through it, or you're going to see through it in places. So I've got a fairly even distribution of paint, and the mead and black is very black. I'm going to scrape that off on the edge. I'm just going to keep going. And first off, let me use one of my toothy tools. I'm going to have to keep wiping these off. And I actually pulled out a paper towel today. Not that I put it where I could find it. I think I'm going to like this. I've got a smaller one. These are made of... I'll put the tutorial video about how I made my tools. Because they're not that hard. They're basically the spatula heads that you buy from the dollar store or Walmart. And then you use a sharp blade. I kind of like the black I left behind. I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to have to try and scrape through. I'm going to have to try some Chantilly lace which will be different because I haven't done that before. I wish I hadn't left any black on my spatula. Well, I've got a studio rag and hopefully that'll take care of most of that. And I'll use the opposite side. Now the Chantilly lace is thicker. Everything is thicker than my maiden paint. My maiden paint is the base color that I use. I thought about using colors, and the colors I really want to use are the red, violet, in vivid, intense, fluorescent. Now, as I go and cover things up, I get more brazen. I think this is a good choice over the black and the red, even. But you can't leave it there, I don't think. I'm not sure about my circles. They're not, <laughs> I'm not overly confident that they're going to work. Now this time I'm going to wipe off my spatula so I'm ready for the next. I want to go, haha. Oh, I've 
got an extra spatula on my paper towel. That's not helpful. I'm actually being called to another set of colors and it might be okay to use them. I haven't used the black and white together before and I'm not sure I'm in love with the effect. The good thing about a dry canvas is that you can clean up any colors you don't like. I'm not so sure about the about the circles. I'm definitely not sure about this edge here. If you're fast, you can fix things. Otherwise, you'll be going back the next day and dealing with it. That's as fixed as I can make it. There. I'm not sure I'm in love with that. I want to use some yellow, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be tough to use what I want to use because it's very sheer. So I'm going to just risk some of my sour lemon. It has some orange crush in it. Definitely have to thin it out. But it's bound to be a little bit sheer. It's definitely less sheer than what I was thinking about. What is that thing in there? Looks like a bubble. I've got to keep wiping off my my toothy tools or maybe use a different one. I'll just use a different one. I'm not happy with the center of this. So I'm just going to try and do whatever it takes. I'm going to get rid of that yellow first, which might turn into orange in a second. See, I've never tried to put the mead and black over any Chantilly lace. That's kind of cool. The, um, the circle stayed for a minute. the rest of that black. I don't want to waste it. The maiden stays very black and as you go very thin so it's an excellent tool for priming canvases. I like all that. I don't think I'm going to get to keep the circles though. I'm not over the idea of putting orange in here over that quickly or bringing some red violet in that's vivid and tense. I do like the black that's left behind. So I'm going to have to... No cat hairs allowed. That dried already. Wow. That's definitely time to, you know what, I'm going to use a different combination. I've got pink diamond, and that's the color I want to use. I might need a different spatula. This one is getting the heck beat out of it with all these colors, so that's going in the bucket. I'm just going to grab a different one.
kind of don't mind that color combination. Which is good, because I picked it. I'm not overly confident about any of this, but I think it's going to be interesting. And I'm liking it more as I go along. I do need that right there. So I'm thinking that pink was speaking to me, so I might want to bring it right back again. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. And I can always add some over. Whoops, <laughs> not not in that way. I can always black black in anything that needs to be blacked in. Let's Yeah, I really do like that. But I have something else. I have some vermilion, red, orange, vivid, intense. Not sure how that's going to work. Part of me thinks I should have used some uh, some jasmine. Let me grab that um, red violet fluorescent. Take the tab off the top. I do like to mix the colors, and I have a little bit there already. Yeah, definitely like that a lot. That's speaking to me of blue velvet. It even blends in with the colors next to it. I think I'm going to grab some of the jasmine. Unless it's plugged, which it seems to be. Well, let's go back again. I wanted a solid line there. Okay, do I do it? Or do I waggle it? I'm feeling waggly. <laughs> I've got a little tiny tool. I'm just lucky that that worked. I wish I could do it over here too. <clears throat> Let me grab something bigger. Go back to that smaller tool one more time. this open and I've got tweezers handy. <coughs> Should have checked it. I'm kind of feeling like the Chantilly lace may come back into play. I wish this were open. <coughs> Excuse me please. I try not to complain too much about the allergies in Florida but they're the least attractive thing about this place. I got the plug out of my jasmine, mostly, I think, sort of, kind of, probably one more go around and I'll have it completely there. I still want the, um, the blue velvet. But I may not actually swipe it with a spatula. I might just...
overlay it, which is not something I've done before. I'm not sure I like those little bulbs of paint, but I definitely like the effect. Q-tips are good to have, especially damp ones. Where's my, my skewer to straighten some of those out? At two minutes I'll have <coughs> a minute left. I think I want to put some of this color over here. But first, I'm going to try and modify my stripes. So I have to decide if I'm going to put any more Chantilly lace in, and I think I am. I don't like that bulb in the end. Just going to drag it right out. Now I got my jasmine ready and then I didn't use it. I do have a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. I was mentioning that. There should be nobody expecting perfection from this process. It's definitely a folk art sort of thing. I'm thinking that this wobbly line is bugging me. So I'm thinking that this jasmine... might be the perfect solution. I like this over here. I think what I want to do is just overlay some stripes. Now I've got two minutes left. So I do sell my artwork and I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And uh, underneath my video you'll find my link tree with Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups. Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group is Facebook. I'm liking all that. I'm thinking about a black line down here. And I kind of like that. I want to get rid of that little bulb. And meld that one in. So I love you guys. I hope you take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm forgetting everything I've ever said. <laughs> On my link tree you'll find, did I say Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist, Toledo Studio Appreciation Group. I know I said that. Uh, under the video you'll find Spring Clothing. And uh, you'll find more merch that you can purchase if you're interested in helping support the studio and getting something great in the bargain. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if I'm 100% done with the blue because it seems like there's room for a little bit more right there. So you guys, <laughs> uh, thank you for the donations through PayPal. They keep me they keep me working, and uh, thank you for joining the membership. If you're a member, you're enjoying 110 plus videos in the members only library. I don't want to get too fussy because there's really no way, although that line has got to go. There we go. All right, it is what it is and it's kind of cool and I don't mind it at all. I kind of want some saffron. I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not, but I want it. Here I am and this is dry and it's changed from the last time you saw it because I did not feel like I was done with it. And I'm going to try and shimmer it at you a little bit, but mostly I want to zoom in 
and show you the best way I can that there are now dots at a lot of the, cr the intersecting lines and sometimes they're in that light isn't working <laughs> boy I wanted it to I wish I could get really close looks like something I need to fix there okay anyway so maybe I'll try and focus like that so there's dots and more dots and more dots and more dots anyway so that's that and now I'm happy with it so I'll see you guys anon for the next dotty thing I do bye for now Priscilla out <laughs>